Hey fellow pizza lovers! In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to make Thursday night pizzas, zucchini or summer squash pizza crust. All you need are four medium-sized zucchini, about two pounds, some all-purpose flour, grated parm. I have dried Italian seasoning, but you can use fresh chopped basil or parsley, two eggs, some fine sea salt, and you're ready to go. First things first, you want to grate the zucchini and get as much moisture out of it as you can because as you can imagine, you don't want a wet pizza crust ever. Otherwise, it's just gonna be soggy. All right, so I've got my zucchini. I have a colander in here set inside a large bowl with a clean kitchen towel on top. This is a nice thin kitchen towel because you're gonna use it to squeeze the liquid out of the zucchini. Just trim off the ends and you're gonna grate all of the zucchini just using your regular box grater. You could use a food processor with the grating attachment if you have it. I prefer the old fashioned way. The reason you grate right into here is because you want as much liquid as possible to drain from the zucchini. Then you're gonna toss in one teaspoon of fine sea salt. Sprinkle it right over there. Stir to mix it up in here. Okay. And then just let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. That will help as much liquid as possible release from the zucchini, and then your pizza crust will be nice and, well, as dry as it's going to get as a zucchini crust. My zucchini has been sitting for about half an hour now. Oh, and I also preheated my oven to 425. That I did while the zucchini was sitting. You could do it whenever. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna take up this towel and I'm gonna squeeze out as much liquid from the zucchini as I can. Watch, there's a lot in here, zucchini has a really high water content. And when you want to make pizza, you want your crust to be, well, crispy. So you got to get rid of all that liquid. I'm going to keep going until I can't squeeze out any more liquid, and then I'm going to put it in a bowl. It also helps if you use a thinner dish towel. One of the ones that isn't as absorbent as all the other ones in your drawer. I know I have a few that I barely use except for things like this. I got as much liquid as I could out of there. You're not going to get every single drop, but um, I, got, I got a lot of liquid. I don't know if you can really see that, but that's probably about two cups to give you some reference, maybe even a little more. Um, you can save that if you like. I'm going to dump it, but I'm sure there are a lot of creative uses for zucchini juice. Okay, and now I have my dried out zucchini. All you need is a medium bowl next. I'm gonna put your zucchini in there. Worry about this later. Okay, I've got my half cup of flour. This is one tablespoon of dried Italian seasoning. One teaspoon of salt. Three quarter cup of finely grated Parmesan cheese. And then two large eggs beaten first. Mm -hmm. 
This is when you take off your rings, if you haven't already, because you are going to mix this with your hands and it's gonna get kind of goopy. So first, what I would do is line your baking sheet or pizza pan with some parchment paper. I like to use my perforated pizza pan just because it gets the bottom a little extra crispy. Definitely go for a dark colored pan if you have one because that will help the crust cook as nicely as possible. If you use a light pan, you just might have to cook it a little longer. All right, so my pan is ready. I'm gonna get my hands dirty. And then when it's all mixed up, you're going to put it right on your prepared baking sheet. That's why you line it ahead of time so you can do stuff with your hands being all dirty. And then you're gonna press it out and then you'll par bake it before you put the toppings on. Okay, so here is my mixed zucchini pizza dough. Make sure I get all that goodness in there. Just plop it right on your prepared pan and you're gonna use your hands. It's very gloopy, so don't be alarmed. You're gonna use your hands to press it out into whatever shape you want. I like going for about, about a 12 inch round, but if you want a square, make a square. Just the main thing here is to keep it as even as possible. All right. Now, once the zucchini pizza dough is all padded out into a nice 12 inch circle, in my case, I'm gonna bake it at 425 for 15 to 20 minutes, just until it's nice and firm and golden and then I'll put the toppings on after it bakes. That makes sure that the pizza crust that is still gonna have a high water content because of the zucchini will not be soggy and you'll be able to pick it up and eat it just like any other pizza. Let's check on my pizza crust. Oh yeah. Nicely browned around the edges and a little bit golden brown in the center. And now we'll add the toppings. For this pizza, I'm just gonna top it with some um, cooked down pizza sauce. You can find the recipe in the comments and also on my blog. Some pepperoni and some good old fashioned low moisture mozzarella. And then it goes back in the oven for about five minutes just until the cheese melts and might brown a little bit in spots. Are you hungry? I'm pretty sure it's ready. Oh yeah, let's get it out of there. I totally almost dropped that on the floor. Okay, uh, here we go. We have melted cheese. We have nicely browned crust all the way around. And I'm gonna let this thing sit for a sec before I cut into it, but it is looking so good and it smells delicious. The beauty with this zucchini crust is that it has flavor all on its own. So yeah, it's not gonna taste like a yeasted uh, regular pizza crust, but it is gonna taste like zucchini and parmesan and herbs, which is super nice for a summer pizza. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute so the cheese doesn't get too oozy when I slice it. And then I'm gonna eat this and it's gonna be so good. I am so ready to try this. I don't know about you. All right, I'm going to transfer this carefully to a cutting board. And then I'm gonna slice it up. Regular slices, 
Nothing special about this one. So the zucchini crust is not going to get crispy like a regular pizza crust. It's just not going to. But if you know what you're in for, you're really going to love this because it's so flavorful. And it does hold up to the toppings, you'll see. Here we go. Here is a perfect slice. See how it holds together fine. Look at that. And the flavor, man, the flavor. So let me show you first before I bite into this. You can see it. It's nice and thick. You are going, when you pat it out, you're gonna go for about a half inch, maybe a quarter inch if you like it a little crispier. But I like this just as it is. The egg holds it together and makes it puff up just a little tiny bit and get kind of bready. You can taste it. Mmm. This is so good. It's so good. Another thing I'm thinking of too, if you have kids who need to eat more vegetables, this, do this, they will never know that there is zucchini in there. It just tastes like cheese and pepperoni and tomato sauce and pizza. I really hope you try this at home too. If you do, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, comments, input, anything at all. Can't wait to keep making pizza with you. Thanks again for watching.